Right guys, just gonna show you a very quick fix that will save you probably around 200 uh, euros. Uh, this is my BMW E53. Uh, what happened was um, I just removed the cluster in order to install them aftermarket uh, like chrome rings around it. Um, as soon as I came back and I finished the work and everything is plugged on, I just turned the ignition on and it just keeps asking me for this code. Um, so the ignition won't start, everything else starts. The radio, mine is aftermarket Android as well. Um, but the thing is, the ignition will just not start at all. Um, none of the buttons do anything either alone or in conjunction one with the other uh, neither does the board computer thing um, so I just had to uh, read through lots of forums and this guy posted out this solution that I'm gonna show you so what you have to do is turn the ignition off yeah leave one door open and I'm gonna disconnect the terminal uh, the positive um, cable from the battery and let it sit for a while and then try to turn it on so make sure it deads. I'll be back in a minute. So we're at the back now. Um, you have to take the tire off and then you have to reach for this metal thing and get it out. Uh, you need some spanners to take it off. So I just removed that metal thing and then screwed the negative cable. I'm gonna try now and twist the key to see what happens. Um, make sure you leave the door open because otherwise without power the door probably won't open. So it's dead, flat dead, right. So the guy, one guy said that maybe 20 seconds would do um, to try and reset the cluster. Uh, I'm gonna wait 30 seconds so I'm just gonna go back in and try it on. Yeah, so you have some noise. The car just beat. Nope, he's still asking for the code. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it like this other guy said for 15, 20 minutes, something like that. Be back in a minute, so 30 second solution doesn't work. Right, it's working. But the water is back on it. So the trick was, um, you leave the battery cable out five minutes then you put it back on and you turn ignition to one and just leave it on one apparently if you still have the original command uh, the original radio it will give you a countdown of 10 minutes or 12 minutes or something so you just leave the key on position one and wait that wait that bit of time I just waited you know 15 minutes because I don't have the original radio and there is no information at all on the dash so you just have to wait it out leave it on one and then what I did was just whilst the key was on the one position I just flipped it and the car started so hope this will save you a lot of hassle and a lot of trouble now all you have to do is just go back and put that tire back on and make sure everything's tidy Hope this helped. Cheers.